So I was Sunday's people, you see the sweat? Yeah, that's the, that's the sweat you need right there. You gotta Sabbath Sunday is like, you think I'm joking, right? I'm trying to motivate you cocksuckers out there. They ain't motivated. And you're listening to all these so-called professionals. I mean, there's plenty of us savages out there. A lot of people don't have humility and, you know, to go on camera. And I've done shows in front of a lot of people. I've fought in front of a lot of people. Uh, it doesn't bother me. It's entertainment in a way, but in the streets of survival. And, you know, that's those in the early days and, uh, you know, just pouring sweat and running and push up, pushing the earth and uh, just a lot of training that a lot of people don't want to do old school. Peace. Fuck, man. I don't want the fucking bugs to in my fucking house. In the granite 617, as you can see earlier on the bridge, Uh, you know, that was a five mile run with uh, 750 push ups, running slow, uh, three miles, and then I walk a mile, and then I run the other two miles and do more push ups. You know what I mean? Every like 25, 30, 40 yards, I drop over 20 yards, I drop down to a set. And then you get back up, you know, stretch your knees out, you know, with the Fly your knees a little bit, bring your knees way up as high as you can, like you are, you know, aiming at a target. This is sobriety, people. This is what you'll go through in sobriety, you know. There's no sugarcoat in sobriety, especially off opiates, anything like that. I've had savages that couldn't beat it, and it makes me think. I, I think de I get deep in thinking, and I always put myself in other people's shoes, and I'm like, how come God saved me? or whoever saved me, or I say myself, like the operating doctor said, you uh, you fought to live, definitely fought to live, Robert, and you had some help from up there, and not only that, I had a best operating uh, surgeon on the East Coast in Boston here, so uh, yeah, I was very lucky, you know what I mean? I had a 50-50 chance. I woke up two days later, and uh, I was home five days after that, so I came in on Tuesday, I was home the following Tuesday. You want me to go upstairs for three to nine months from the ICU upstairs to where head injury trauma uh, patients go? And I go, thank you for saving my life, but I can go home and rest, and I ain't gonna uh, do not else. I rest every day. I have court dates I gotta go to. I can't use as a, as an excuse. And uh, so you people, listen to me. I got sober, right? I got sober in uh, Plymouth. Uh, PP. P C C C C F, Plymouth County Correctional Facility. It's, in, it's the new Plymouth. It's where they uh, house, you know, county inmates from uh, Plymouth uh, County, which is Brockton, Plymouth, all those towns around there and city Brockton. And uh, they send a lot of feds there. They send a lot of state inmates there and friggin' uh, county. And it's kind of fucked up. You got county uh, people there that are crying over 30 days and you got a state guy doing fucking uh, 30 years. And, you know, I've seen so many people get fucked up crying about 30 day bids and shit, 90 day bids. And listen, it is, it is something if you've never done time, you know, like, time sucks. One hour, one minute away, one minute with no freedom, sucks. Slayer, I always wear my concert t-shirts and my old concert t-shirts and uh, and and just concert bands that I, you know, I would always buy their shirts anyways. Because if I was walking down the street in the 80s and 90s, and even, even now to this day, if I was walking down the street and someone was walking towards me uh, uh, in the in downtown Boston, you know, in the, you know, in um, downtown Crossing where everyone's there shopping, you know, if someone seen you with a Slayer shirt, you seen them with an old Slayer shirt on, you'd be like, salute, what's up, bro, you know? Uh, you know, you just know it's 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 um, like a brotherhood of fucking real music. You know what I mean? Original Slayer, there is no better people, uh, especially when they got under their third and uh, fourth albums. Like Rain and Blood is might be the best thrash album of all time, speed metal album of all time. And then you got South of Heaven right after that. First three Metallic albums, epic. With Cliff Burton, rest in peace, Cliff Burton Jr. and Cliff Burton Senior. 
Flip Burton, like, I mean, Metallica back then was just so good, man. Like, so fucking good. And, um, you know, I just think it's, uh, people have no clue. Uh, Megadeth's first three albums, original Megadeth, first two, and then third, he, he kicked, uh, Chris pulling out the rhythm and uh, lead guitarist with him as a lead guitarist, Dave Mustaine, and lead singer, Dave Mustaine. He got rid of the drummer, Doc Samuelson, rest in peace. And uh, them first two albums are off the hook, Megadeth's first two albums. Killing is my business, and business is good. Um, Peace sells, but who's buying second album? And um, so far, so good, so what? The third album when he replaced the drummer and another guitarist and uh the guitarist looked like he didn't even belong there i seen them live on that tour too i seen the original tour peace cells uh and uh kill them all from metallica first album ride the light then second album you could see how metallica evolved every album their first three and four albums had the clip burton uh died horribly in a fucking uh black ice supposedly from the tour bus driver He's lucky he's still around. If he still is around, I don't know. I heard they wanted to really, you know, hurt him, you know, the band members. Because um, they walked back about five miles and didn't see no fucking black ice. Um, the Master of Puppets. I mean, insane. You know what I mean? Like, people, let me tell you something. You listen to those albums, right? You'll never go back. If you're into aggressive music, you have attitude. If you don't conform, it, you know, you follow the laws and everything, but you don't conform to stupid, idiotic shit. Well, this is music you need to listen to. And old school rap from the 80s, 90s, and that's about it. That's old school rap. You know what I mean? When 9 out of 10 fucking MCs were actually... You know, living what they were spitting, and that's what I did on my first two albums. I was living what I was spitting, so I had no problem spitting it. But I didn't act like something I wasn't. I acted my my own culture. You know what I mean? I didn't act, you know, like a black African American. Like white people that act black is it's so horrible because black people don't respect that. Black Americans don't respect fucking white people black and black. You know, white people saying the N word and shit makes me drives me fucking nuts. You know what I mean? Drives me nuts. Uh, a wake-up call. You know, a lot of people need a wake-up call. And that's just the God's honest fucking truth. Okay, uh, Savage Sundays. I do it early. I do it late. I do it early on Monday mornings, you know, or early, late Sunday, Sundays. But I did it early today. Uh, you know, early, early Sunday. You know what I mean? Right after the fights, I, got, I say, you know, I got energy. I'm going to go fucking train. I'm going to go run. And do a bunch of push-ups, you know. Oh, look. Ice coffee, see? No, that's not Kahlua. Alright, people. I think I might go live in a little bit and uh, educate people on some music and some uh, fights. I'm going to give people some fights to watch and uh, some, um, some uh, what's it called? Some, uh, some fights and educate people on a little bit of music. In the grant of 617, subscribe to Rush Hour MMA. Subscribe to my new channel, uh, Perpetrating a Fraud. You're going to hear stuff all next week, every morning, morning rants, every morning. Uh, I'm going to do my comedy career. I write every day. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I made two worldwide albums. I know a comedy is going to be easy for me. It's all true stories. I got enough true stories for the rest of my life in comedy. That's the craziness I lived through. The, uh, comfortable in chaos for fucking 25, 30 years. So yeah, it's, all, it's, it's just the way it is, people. All right, see you guys in a little, little bit live.